some guys and just answering a question I got. Um, I think it was in my inbox. Let's go over what he asked. Da, 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 da. Um, so this guy Jonas wants to know uh, how I got from six hundred thousand polygons to nine thousand polygons till. Um, right. The way I did that was I used something called. Oh no! Don't move that. <laughs> she has to move some folder somewhere. Um, yeah, it just I used something called Decimation Master. Uh, I'll just open up this grab. Uh, I think this is the right file. Soon find out. Um, the thing about using Decimation Master is that uh, it's a pretty uh, destructive sort of edit on your model. Uh, you can only really use Decimation Master for like rendering. Um, or as I used it to as a sort of reference model for like retopologizing stuff. Um, let me just solo off this body. Uh, we've got a matcap grey, and we shall turn off the poly paint for now. Um, so yeah, currently this model, um, this particular subtool is approximately. 9.8 million polygons um, so it's pretty sort of heavy duty density you won't be able to use this in Maya or 3D Max or whatever uh, and all I did to lower the uh, the polygon count and retain the detail uh, was up in here in the Z plugin window and it's the, um, this thing here called Decimation Master uh, I'm just going to drag this window over here so I don't have to keep opening it uh, what Decimation Master does is it takes a uh, projection or uh, it sort of calculates all the uh, I don't know I don't know quite how it works but it must sort of calculate all the small bumps and the large bumps and it sort of makes a piece of code that enables it to uh, retain those shapes uh, it's pretty ingenious really um, but to use Decimation Master what you have to do is you're going to press these pre-process buttons if you press pre-process current it pre-processes the um, the active subtool that you have selected and it'll ignore the rest uh, and as I suggest is uh, pre-process all this does every single thing in the actual tool so it'll do all the subtools um, something to be aware of the, the higher the polygon count the longer this process uh, pre-process will take so if you do have um, the ability to go down in res you may as well do that I'm just going to press ctrl shift uh, to sort of scoot down See, I'm down 2 million here, and there's hardly any difference. Go a bit further. 600,000 polygons is no difference. It, re it really depends what it is you're trying to get, or what reason you are decimating for. Like I said, when you decimate, um, the actual topology of this model is going to become pretty damn, um, pretty ugly. Pretty, it's pretty much unusable apart from rendering uh, and using it as a, a reference model for retopologizing. So, uh, Let's just, um, once you're sort of happy with this level of detail, uh, you just delete higher and lower. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit this um, pre process current, and you'll see a progress bar start to load up across here uh, in a second. Here we go. Uh, just going to think about that for a few seconds. But like I say, uh, I don't know what your intended use is uh, for re uh, decimating. Um, you can't really use it as like a game model res because the topology just won't animate properly um, uh, but it, it is useful for sort of doing test renders in like uh, 3ds max or whatever if you want to use you know all the the cool sort of rendering capabilities you know like final gather and stuff but um, yeah decimate current okay now you've got the pre-process done you have the option here uh, basically if you just scroll up and down here it's going to try and um, keep the polygon count to uh, whatever you've got set in here uh, I usually just find 20% you know decent and 20% of that's going to be 60,000 so decimate current and you see now it's down 130,000 so pretty successful um, if you go into the poly frame here you can see the uh, the topology of this mesh is really sort of messed um, just because it's, it's using um, chaotic arrangements of like triangles to you know keep all the detail all the surface stuff um, yeah so if you want to go lower, always take a new uh, pre-process. If you try and decimate um, again using the old process uh, that it took, it's going to be using the um, 
the computed uh, results from the higher resolution because the topology has changed so much uh, it won't uh, decimate uh, accordingly so you need to pre-process this new topology uh, in order to like you know get a, a cleaner and more accurate result uh, don't take long the lower polygons as it quickly goes decimate again I'm down at 20 27,000 um, and it's still pretty decent you know you could render that out in Maya or whatever uh, whatever sort of package you use um, and that is that's pretty much decimation master um, you will lose all polypaint information as polypaint is uh, literally colorizing each polygon so you know low lower the less polygons you have and it's gonna it, there's just no way for it to I don't know there's no way for it to compute that at this point um, but like I say it doesn't really matter this is purely for test rendering or you know just, just general presentation sort of thing you know just making it a bit more useful that's, that's the only use decimation has um, and, and retopologizing in, in, in like Topo gun or whatever it is you use. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Decimation Master. Hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask.